Chris, we're down at the EFL Girls Cup today. Um, more than 100 children here. It must be great uh, to, see, to see the great turnout. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Obviously, you know, with the weather, obviously you can easily have teams drop out, but you know, to show the dedication and everyone coming, it's been absolutely fantastic. It's been the Community Trust can organise an event just like this. Yeah, it's brilliant. Obviously, Utility obviously sponsored the cup uh, through the EFL, and it's absolutely brilliant. Obviously, they've upped it as well this year, so we've got uh, seven aside, so we've even got even more girls uh, playing, whereas last year's it was six aside, so it's fantastic to see. Could you just explain the format to me? Yeah, so the format today, so we've got 11 teams, so we've got two groups, uh, one group of six, one group of five. Uh, so we'll run through the games, so obviously everyone will play each other, and then we'll go into a quarterfinals, into the semis, and into a final, and we'll eventually get a winner who will we'll then go and represent Blackburn Rovers Community Trust and the football club in the next round. Yeah, it was great to see two of the role for these team players as well on show support. Yeah, again, again, just for the girls, obviously, you're playing, you know, to just be inspired, you know, and show, that, obviously, that they care about, obviously, the game as well. Um, so having them come down and um, obviously see how the, you know, not just coming down and for a quick picture, but coming down and actually watching the games, you know, the girls being able to show off the tricks and skills and, you know, in front of the, you know, the, the, like, the, the lionesses effectively for them, you know, because, again, like locally in Blackburn, that is the the aim for them to get and play for, for the first team of the ladies team. We've seen a real development happen with the Rovers women's team player appearances too. Obviously, we've seen them at the camps and obviously we've seen them today. Which just does that show where the women's game is going? Yeah, it's huge. And do you know what? As well, I think the, the biggest thing for me is how well respected the the, the players are as well. Um, so in terms of the, the young people, are so excited to see the women players as well as the men's players, and and it just is a you know it's, it's a fantastic way um, that the club is going. You know, to have more player appearances. You know. Well, we've had, I think, every week of the soccer camp, we had um, uh, player appearances, and now we've obviously got the girls' cup attended, so brilliant. And talking through, obviously, uh, the, the player appearances we've had, and obviously, year for week of action this week, we've got five, six uh, activations planned across the academy, the women's and the men's team. It's fantastic to see that, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, like I said, you know, player involvement is huge, you know, that's how kind of obviously the inspiration goes. You know, when I was a young kid, you know, growing up, and that if I met a professional football player, it just gave me that little bit of a boost so all across the community obviously in different forms of obviously projects we've got from sport to leisure you know to health and well-being you know to have support from the first team and across the men's women's and the academy is fantastic Mekana, thank you very much for joining me you've been down in the EFL girls cup uh, this morning over 100 girls playing um, from your perspective it must be fantastic as, as Rovers women's team players to see so many young girls taking part yeah, it's, it's excellent to see just how many kids are actually into their girls and just enjoying themselves. Like the weather's not the best, and yet everyone's still got a smile on the face down there and are still playing. So yeah, it's good to see. And how it must have been nice for them all to be smiling when they saw you and all wanted to get in a big team picture as well. It shows what kind of inspiration you can bring to them. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was saying to Meg, um, it's great to see all of them here playing. Um, obviously, when we were in school, you would never see this many teams and girls playing. So now it's just great to see how the game's evolving and so many girls taking part. Do you think it's really showing where women's football is developing to? Yeah, definitely. I think you can see the direction it's going and I feel it's only up like the more teams being created, the more girls getting involved and it just looks like it's unstoppable at the minute. And from a Rovers women's team perspective as well, it's fantastic, isn't it, that you guys can come and represent the team to so many girls and then that, that could be the future fans or even the players moving forward. Yeah, exactly. And if people can see, obviously, the level that we're at, it obviously hopefully inspires them that they can do it as well. And from a, from a community trust perspective as well, that, that you know the charity does run various sessions like this um, for, for women's team and girls football as well, which is, which is great as well, isn't it, from a, a whole club perspective? Yeah, it's just, again, it's always coming back to the community, just to have a community like this around you. It's, it's not everywhere and to have it here is just it's really great for the girls. And how pleased were you to see some of the talent out there playing? It looked like, I know the rain's really pouring down at the moment, yeah. but it looked like there's a lot of good players out there, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the weather's not great today, and you can just see like the commitment from all of the girls still getting stuck in, having fun. And yeah, it's great to see them getting involved. And as a team, you've done multiple player appearances so far this season, so it really shows as an emphasis in the, from, the, from the Rovers women's team that community appearances are important. Yeah, we love to do them, just getting down and talking to the girls and that because most girls don't know our story so to get a one-to-one -one with them and explain like, you know, it's not always straight road, like you can be here playing football for your school and the next minute you could be in an academy somewhere so it's just good to speak to them. 
This is appearance as part of the FL Week of Action, so there's various different community appearances happening this week. Uh, you're one of the five that are happening. How important do you feel that having a community appearance is for the, for the women's team? Yeah, I think it's great, you know, obviously us coming in um, and them seeing us, um, obviously where we've come from, um, hopefully just keeps inspiring them to keep playing and hopefully they'll be able to do that one day. Hallie, Patsy, thank you for joining me today, pitch side. How great an opportunity is it that your school has had the opportunity to get involved in the Utility Under 13 Girls Cup? I think it's it's very like a lot of pressure on us because we've only just joined school, so we've it's only our second match of the team. But so far we've done well to say it's the second match. We haven't really played together and we all we're actually quite happy to be here and that. And of course you get the prize of potentially winning this tournament and then you get to, to represent Blackburn at Wembley possibly as well. That must be a big uh, motivation for you. Yeah, very big. Yeah, uh, uh, it's surprising that we got the opportunity to come here and because we've been playing football so long and we can progress it longer and maybe become professionals like the women footballers. And that, like you mentioned there, we had the, the Blackburn Rovers women's players come down earlier. How much of a, an inspiration is it for them to, to see that you're taking part in this? It was a shock that like they've come from <coughs> our town and then turned into such a big thing. And how much are you enjoying the tournament so far? I know you haven't had the best of starts, but there's still plenty of games to go, isn't there? Yeah, we've got. I think we've got. We've got a good team to say that we're only just trying to play together. Um, I feel like we've got more in us and more chances that we can get if we like progress the further and like, join as a team. I feel now since it's only like a first tournament that we've actually played, we're not as close as a team as like other people would be. So it's a bit difficult for us all to bond, but it'll work. So yeah. And how great a time is it for women's football now? I take it you've been watching like the Lionesses yeah. of interest as well. How great has that been? Yeah, it's quite a shock. And um, a few of the Lionesses came from Blackburn Rovers also. I'm um, surprised that maybe the Blackburn Rovers women that play here today could progress into Lionesses. And they've been really inspiring you to take up football, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And it's that uh, we've come, we've come from Blackburn, and the women have come from the same town as us. So it's like the seen us all play, so, yeah. <laughs>